To make these Japanese pancakes, the first step is to separate the yolks from the whites. The easiest way for me to do this is I put it in my hand and then I let the yolk sit on top and the white run through my fingertips. Sometimes it takes a little bit more effort, but usually this is a pretty good way to do it. And we need two egg whites to make this work. Once you've separated your egg whites, go ahead and stick them in the freezer while you're doing the rest. Maybe 10 minutes. Just helps them whip up better. The next thing you need to do is you need to sift your flour. This is three quarter cups and one tablespoon of flour. And I'm just using the little sifter I have. And this just helps with getting the consistency perfect for the batter. Speaking of the batter, we need baking powder and baking soda, both of them. And you're just gonna go ahead and mix this up. Now we take our egg whites back out of the freezer, put them in a fresh bowl. And you're gonna go ahead and whip these with a hand blender until they start forming stiff peaks. You're making a meringue here. It's almost like making a whipped cream if you've ever done that before. So you just keep adding sugar and whipping, sugar and whipping until like you get these nice stiff peaks. It looks almost like a fluffy cloud. For me, it took about two to three minutes to get it whipped to the perfect consistency. Now that we have everything pretty much ready to go, let's finish off our batter. We need some vanilla extract, bit of lemon juice, our two egg yolks, and some milk. I originally started with about a half a cup of milk and I wanted to just go ahead and gradually add in milk until I got to the right consistency. It ended up being about a quarter of a cup of milk total used. You're looking for a very smooth batter. Uh, think of it as the consistency of like a cake batter. Once you have it to that consistency, you're gonna go ahead and start adding in your whipped egg whites. But do it really gently. Just slowly stir it in because you don't wanna break up all those peaks and all the work you did into creating the meringue by just breaking them as you whip it too hard. So just gently kind of fold it in, use the whisk. It works better to incorporate everything than using the spatula. Now you wanna let this batter sit for about 10 minutes to let the baking powder, baking soda, and the lemon juice kind of do their thing. While we're doing that, we're gonna preheat a skillet or a pan to about 300 degrees. Normally I go higher heat for pancakes, because these are so thick, you need a little bit lower heat. So this is instructions if you want to make a quarter inch tall pancake. They're a little bit easier to make than the big Instagrammy style ones. I have these uh, egg rings that I used. They're stainless steel and I spray them with Pam. Then I add in about a quarter of an inch of batter and you just let it cook. It takes about two minutes or so until it's ready to be able to um, pull the ring off and give them a flip. As you can see, I'm pulling the ring off with some tongs because that little egg ring gets hot. Be careful. Now, just give it a flip. Crispy brown deliciousness. Give it two minutes on the other side and your Japanese pancake is done. So, Let's say you want to make the Instagrammy ones, the little bit thicker, taller versions. So these you go ahead and spray with Pam again. Now add in the extra batter to about half an inch tall. Might even be an inch now that I look at it. But you got to wait five minutes for these to cook on the one side before you can pull the ring off. You'll know that the ring is ready to pull once it starts like separating as you shake it. And the longer you let it go, the longer and less of that drip you're going to have that happened on that first one. 
what you want to do is after you flip these, if you're looking for pretty pancakes, is you just trim them a little. It's really easy to do. So after they've uh, cooked for that first five minutes, give them a flip. And let them cook on the second side for only about two and a half minutes because they're pretty much almost cooked through. And as you can see, I'm just giving it a little trim here to make it a little bit prettier pancake for the photo. And that's it. These are Japanese style pancakes. They're fluffy. They are springy. It's almost like a sponge cake, but they taste like pancakes. They are delicious. This is the only pancake that my family will let me cook them now. For more recipes and videos, visit dadgotthis.com. To be sure you don't miss anything, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare you. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.